Diane in Denmark here and welcome back to another one of the Fly Ladies cruising through Christmas and the holidays missions. We're on to mission number 22 today and don't kind of you know fall off your chair and say oh I'm, I'm, I'm behind. You're not behind. Uh, I've got a playlist with all Christmas and holidays and recipes and the Fly Ladies missions and we're going to put a link up there but you don't need to go you know back and binge watch all the mission videos because they all follow the same thing. Remember in, in Fly Lady Land we have a daily focus for each day and the missions follow those. So yesterday we were, you know, when we're doing our cleaning, we do a bit of flinging at the same time, you know, if we find any junk we get rid of it. Today, uh, Tuesday in Fly Lady Land is plan and play day and you're just going to do the same as you usually do on a Tuesday. You're going to set your time. And remember, we're not spending the whole day on this. You know, the, the, the idea is not that we put our heads down the rabbit hole and only do Christmas uh, planning or, you know, maybe you're using the Fly Ladies Holiday Control Journal to plan a wedding, graduation, Ramadan, Bar Mitzvah, you know, you name it, we can plan it together. You're just going to set your timer for 15 minutes, grab a cup of coffee um, or a glass of water. For me, it'll be a cup of coffee at 7.30 in the morning here. It's just getting light here in Denmark, very frosty today. Uh, but anyway, make, make it cozy for yourself. So what are you going to do today on Plan and Play Day? You are going to check and see what you need. Remember we, we made our list. I mean, this is my holiday control journal. Hopefully you've printed yours out and have started filling in. And the check the gift list. Have you actually ordered any gifts online? You know, we are beginning to count down now uh, if you're buying gifts for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, you know, check things. Do you need to add stuff for your errand day list? If you saw, um, and you know, I post on Instagram, you can see, you know, my outfit for the day and what we're having for dinner. And you probably saw that was on my way to my Swedish evening class. And on the way, I had uh, 10 or 15 minutes. So I went into the shops and I managed to get one of the gifts for my daughter, uh, which is, here we are, um, the little book of happiness. You know, we have this Danish thing about Hugo. Uh, anyway, there was a new, a new book about happiness and she really liked the first book. So I have got that for her and I shall be wrapping that up. Uh, and actually in the shops here, they will wrap them for you if you like. But I, as I was going to my Swedish class yesterday, I was a bit in a hurry. So I just asked them for the wrapping paper. They'll give you a piece of wrapping paper and the ribbon, some really nice velvet ribbon. So oh, could put that in my hair. Anyway, so I'm going to be checking my Christmas uh, gift list. Uh, I'm doing quite well with my DD15's gifts. Um, and I need to get a few more for my uh, DS17. But I will be going on to the internet today and ordering a few things for him. So just, you know, set your timer and think about, are you sending gifts um, across the country? I mean, I'm, I'm not sending anything abroad this year. Last year, my son was in the States and you know, he was doing the year of high school. Now he's back. Thank goodness. Um, so I don't have anything to post out. But, you know, also, if you're going to be posting things like, you know, uh, greetings cards, do you have to add the stamps, you know, put that onto your list for R&D? All we're doing here is we're just keeping one step ahead. And as I said, we're not spending the whole day planning. We're just thinking about, you know, what's coming up? Do we, do we have things to send off? Um, do, do we need to actually get the gifts ordered so we can get them in the house and then send them off? Let, let, let's just take it one step at a time. So um, anyway, the other thing oh yeah, I wanted to say is, as I said yesterday, please, please make sure that you keep going with your routines right now, you know, your fly lady routines. If you need help with your routines or what to focus on, if you should be focusing on morning or evening, I did a whole playlist about that when we did the, um, the seven day routine challenge. And I also talked about, you know, shift workers and if you have small kids. So go and take a look at that if you're having problems with your routines. And again, I just want to stress to you, please do your routines morning and evening before you even consider doing, you know, weekly home blessing, detailed cleaning, decluttering, and especially holiday prep, because it's the routines 
that are going to carry you through the good times and the bad times. I've talked to the, about this a lot and I, I know, especially in the beginning, um, if you're a new fly baby, you think, oh well, I'll, oh, I'll jump into this and I'll jump into that and you see all the, the good things about Fly Lady. The main thing that you must carry on with, whatever happens, are your routines. Because especially on the, on the dark days, on the tough days, if you've got somebody in the family who is ill or some kind of crisis, the routines will see you through. You know, we've got to keep going with the routines. And I know they're not very uh, sexy or exciting, but just the fact of, you know, running the dishwasher. And my one beeped about two minutes ago, so I'm going to be finish off my morning routine and unloading that. Uh, and just planning ahead. You know what's for dinner. P please do not start doing all Christmas prep unless you know what's for dinner tonight. Because, you know, we can get very sucked into the kind of fun uh, Christmas and decorating, but you've got to feed yourself, take breaks, feed the family and keep going with your lols, you know, your load of laundry per day. So anyway, I, I won't keep you back any further. Um, get on with your routines and then make it cosy for yourself. Sit down for 15 minutes and just think, what can I plan today that's going to make, you know, Christmas or whatever you're planning easier? And the most important thing about plan and play day is the play part. Uh, and for me today, um, I'm going to be doing some, um, I'm going to be watching some, a Netflix series that I've started watching with my DS17. Uh, we watched The Stranger Things. We watched the first series of that. So no spoilers, please. But we're going to start watching series two today and we'll um, light the candles. Maybe we'll switch off all the lights, make it really spooky. And uh, so I'm going to have a bit of uh, quality time with him today and a bit of play. So make sure you get your play in. The play can be going outside for a walk, seeing the last of the leaves uh, falling, or maybe you can get a nice um, cup of tea when you're in town, or just get your feet up for 10 or 15 minutes, get a blanket and, um, you know, read a glossy magazine, paint your nails. I'm going to change my nail colour today because I'm wearing red, I want to have some red. So anyway, that's it. Have a great plan and play day. Um, and if you have, if, if you've kind of lost the plot with the, the Christmas missions, go back and have a look, but don't feel like you're behind. Yeah, just make sure that you do something and keep going with your routines. Right, that is it. I'm off to unload the dishwasher and I shall see you very soon. Right, Diane in Denmark, live long and prosper.